What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trip 2323. I just came over here to spy on him even though I don't like people looking over my shoulder. I heard him welding and he's welding the actual, that's a CNC Batman logo. CNC Batman logo over a piece of metal. Are you gonna grind it down? Mm -hmm. And he's running, he's running the bead, and the reason why I came to peak is because he's running the bead with a Campbell Hoshfield buzz box. What's this? Uh, What's a, a stick welder. Yeah. A stick welder. He has a neck. And this is a very windy day. Look at my comb over. So, it's a nice, nice, nice bead that is running. And this is the Campbell Hushfield one. We also got the Harbor Freight one in the garage. I told him to try that one. All right, he tinkered with my Chicago Electric and figured out how to run it. That's a flux core wire that he's running. Pretty nice bead from a Harbor Freight. That's uh, Chicago Electric, a Chicago Electric wire. The Harbor Freight welder right there with the wire, Chicago welding. Uh, he says I had it too tight and that's why it wasn't self-feeding fast that I had to adjust it. What was wrong with it? The tensioner was too tight, so it wasn't allowing the uh, reel to spin freely. So really it was just pinching down on the reel. And then the, that's a self-feeding flux core and this is a stick right here. What do you think is better for each one? The, the Harbor Freight is better for doing what jobs and the sticks are doing for what job? The stick seems like it's really just small tack welds. Honestly, I feel more comfortable using this. I, uh, since it's yours, I really don't know what the duty cycle was on it, but I haven't been trying to figure it out because I do like it. Okay, let me let my grandson inside. He's crying.